What's good guys, if you guys want the most cheap and most reliable FIFA 23 coins, make sure you guys check out u7buy.com. Next time you guys want to make your purchase, type in the code DAN to get 6% off. Also, if you guys ever want to sell your FIFA 23 coins, you just go to the help center and click on the selling section. Yo YouTube, what's going on? Welcome to another video to the channel, y'all boys. And today, as you guys can see by the title of the thumbnail, I'm going to go ahead and give you guys the best 10 foot level up cards that came out from teams 1 and 2. Once again, guys, this is just my personal opinion, so most likely we're not going to have the same list because we all got different playing styles and we all got different experiences with these cards. So you guys let me know in the comment section down below which has been your favorite card from this dog shit promo because in my opinion this promo is absolutely horrible but you know maybe some people like the promo who knows with that being said we're going to the first honorable mention right now all right i'm gonna be honest i'm gonna go through these pretty quickly but first honorable mention is gonna be 94 Ray jesus corona 58 high medium right foot double five starting skin was a weak foot 93 pace 87 shooting 90 passing 95 dribbling 82 defending 75 physicality and he has outside the foot shot trade as well double five shit links still plays very good in game only thing i don't like about this card is the physicality aside from that it's still a good option at this stage of the game second honorable mention is going to be 93 rated premium level up use of a towel 59 high high right foot four star skill moves five star weak foot 98 pace 90 shooting 91 passing 93 dribbling 90 defending 87 physicality and he has outside the foot shot trade as well Similar to like Corona, they're both very versatile on the pitch. Corona being double five, use of a top four five, but a top has way better physicality. And I do prefer him a little bit more over the Corona, how he performs in game. Coming number 10 is going to be level up 94 rated Savonier, 5'8 high medium right foot, double five star and skin was in weak foot, 91 pace, 91 shooting, 95 passing, 94 dribbling, 84 defending, 87 physicality, and he has outside the foot shot trade as well. I actually tried out this card on a different account one day. He actually performs pretty decently in game for an SPC, so I do like the card a lot. Coming number nine is going to be 96 rated to Shimeni. We're looking at a card at 62 medium high right foot, three star skill moves, five star weak foot, 93 pace, 83 shooting, 92 passing, 91 dribbling, 94 defending, 96 physicality, no shooting traits in game. Uh, this card can get on lengthy if I'm not. Yeah, he can get on lengthy if you give him an architect chemistry style very good dm as a stay back dm he's very overpowered good card decent links five star weak foot big in game things you want from a stay back dm command number eight is going to be 96 rated level up gabriel martinelli we're looking at cards 510 high high work rates right foot five star skill moves four star weak foot 99 pace 90 shooting 90 passing 98 dribbling 71 defending 90 physicality and he has both finesse shot trade and outside the foot shot trade as well very good links i was a huge fan of team of the season martin lane when he came out a, a little over a month ago now we have a martin lane with five star skill moves makes it much more meta because he will he was already quick enough he was just finishing that five star skill move to be a little bit more extra creative in the final third and with this card you definitely get that coming number seven is going to be 93 rated level up dejalo 63 medium high work rates right foot three star skin was five star weak foot 92 pace 87 sh passing excuse me 87 dribbling 93 defending 92 physicality no defending traits in game pretty decent links with portuguese and lagoon 90 plus pace for a cb that is 63 with 90 plus defending 96 strength and 88 aggression and he gets on lengthy you definitely cannot go wrong with the CV. Now, we're getting into the top six, and honestly, this can all be interchangeable, Like, but like I said before, before this is just my personal preference. So number six is going to be 94 rated level up Renato Sanchez. 5'9", high high, right foot, 5-star skill moves, 4-star weak foot, 95 pace, 92 shooting, 92 passing, 97 dribbling, 80 defending, 97 physicality, and he has outside the foot shot trade as well. Pretty good links, 5-star skill moves, Renato Sanchez, we know how he performs in game whenever he gets a very high rated card, especially his team of the season. I wasn't exactly too fond of the team of the season, even though he was pretty solid. But with a level up with five star skill moves, it just puts him over the edge from his previous card, obviously. Coming number five is going to be 95 rated level up Alfonso Davies, 6 1 high, high work rates, left foot, double five star in the skill moves, and weak foot, 99 pace, 80 shooting, 92 passing, 94 dribbling, 80 defending, 88 physicality. 
no shooting traits in game this card is an absolute beast because i was a huge fan of the team of the season i personally was using the team of the season davies at one point as a center mid now you have alfonso davies with very similar stats double five you have a double five davies that you could possibly put in the midfield with 99 pace absolutely insanely broken stuff right there all right, now we're getting into the top four, but number four is going to be 93 rated Darwin Nunez, 6'1", high, high, right foot, double five starting the skin moves and weak foot, 98 pace, 92 shooting, 84 passing, 90 dribbling, 95 physicality, and he has the finesse shot trade as well. Unfortunately, this card does not get unlengthy, but even then, you have a Nunez that's 6'1", double five, max style pace, a very high top tier shooting, very high top tier physicality. You give him an engine chemistry style, he feels absolutely insane. Better than Erlen Haaland team of the season, guys. Better than Erlen Haaland team of the season. Coming number three is going to be a card that a lot of pros have been using recently in the EA tournaments, and it's going to be 97 rated level of, level up, excuse me, Rafael Varane. 6'3", medium high, right foot, two star skill moves, five star weak foot, 93 pace, 77 passing, 86 dribbling, 98 defending, 96 physicality, no defending traits in game. Five star weak foot can pass out the back with ease, we all knew Team of the Season moments, Varane was a problem. Now we have a level up Varane that I'm pretty sure people like Anders were using in the tournament. Maxed out defending, maxed out physicality, very high pace, decent enough dribbling where the ball control reactions, agility compensates the low balance. An absolute beast of a card. Now coming number two is going to be 98 rated Leon Goretzka, aka the German Jude Bellingham. 6'2 high, high right foot, four star skill moves. 5-star weak foot, 93 pace, 93 shooting, 95 passing, 94 dribbling, 93 defending, 98 physicality, dives into tackles trade, and the finesse shot trade as well. Very similar card to Team of the Season, Jude Bellingham. Some people say he's better. Some people say he's slightly worse. There's no debate. This was a top 2-3 card that EA dropped in this promo. Absolutely very broken in game. If you guys haven't checked out the review, go ahead and check him out on my channel. He performs exactly in my opinion like Jude Bellingham. And what I like a lot is that even though he has a very big body type in game, he feels very good with the dribbling, even when only 84 drilling, 82 balance. Pretty good links as well. But coming at number one, in my opinion, the best foot level up that they have dropped from teams one and two is 99 rated Kevin De Bruyne, 5'11 high high right foot, double five star on the skill moves and weak foot, 88 pace, 95 shooting, 99 passing, 97 dribbling, 91 defending. 99 physicality and he has outside the foot shot trade as well i have currently team of the season red kevin de bruyne on my team and i still love the card i still think he's very very meta you have a kevin de bruyne with better stats double five i don't i think this is kind of a no-brainer but at the same time i've seen some people in my comment section saying how they're not the biggest fan of this 99 kdb and i can see that because we all got different playing styles maybe you guys I like someone bigger like a goretzka you know, it just all depends on the playing style. But for me, man, KDB is just that perfect box to box. And without doubt, the best card that they drop from this shit level up promo. That is going to be my rankings, guys. You guys let me know in the comment section down below. What do you guys think about my top 10? Do you guys feel like I left out some players? Maybe I did. Um, just because I left them out, I don't think they're garbage. I just think that these cards are slightly better than the ones I left out on. So let me know what's your favorite player from this level up promo the next video we'll be dropping will be a player review from the footies promo that's coming up tomorrow so like i said you guys know i love the footies promo hopefully they drop some cracked SBCs. i'm really expecting a benzema i'm expecting a ibrahimovic hopefully ea go all out because it's july about to be august games the game is really dry at the moment i ain't gonna lie but thank you guys so much for supporting all the videos you guys are absolutely amazing it's been your boy Dan FIFA, and I am out. Bye-bye.